So uh, in the previous activity we did within the classroom, we learned the relationship between the sum of roots and the product roots of any quadratic equation. Okay, so the sum of roots it's always equal to negative b over a, and the product of roots it's always equal to c over a there's a negative sign for the sum of roots okay so we may need to use one of these equations in these questions so in this case they're telling us that the sum of roots is 5 so the sum of roots is 5 so if using the equation for sum of roots so negative b over a is 5 so all we need to do is to get the values of A, B, and C to use in these cases. But in this case, we only need to use negative B over A. So negative B over A. So what is the value of B? B is not K, but negative K. This negative was from the formula itself. So we still have to put the negative K in the place of B and A is the first term, 7, okay, and then we're going to do the maths, 7 times over, and the negative sign cancels out the negative sign inside the bracket for the K, and it becomes a positive K, and all we need to do was times the 7 over, and that's 35, that's it.